Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. This video hasn't been planned. I just decided I need to do it and I need to do it tonight. If you have something that looks like this, I'm sorry. If you're looking to buy something that looks like this, don't. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. Channel growth is huge. Definitely appreciate it. I had originally planned to do a review between the Float It and the Torpedo Keg Buoy and the Keglin SS or Stainless Steel Floating Ball. I have the Stainless Steel Floating Ball here. I have the Keglin or the Torpedo Keg Buoy in my keg in the actual kegerator. And in my eyes initially, these weren't that different. And I was like, yeah, they're about the same. I don't see a big difference. But then when I bought them, I bought one of each and I compared them and I said, wow, this is so much nicer. I like this. It has a filter. I can roll up this little O-ring. I can get in here. I can clean this. This is nice steel. This is really, really nice. And not so much on the Keglin, but on the Torpedo, I looked up a lot of things and I saw people where this piece had snapped off and I don't know if on the Keglin it snapped off too, but on the Torpedo Keg, I saw this had broken off and people were like, what do we do, what do we do? And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy more of these. And I ordered six more. And I've already put a bunch of them to use, so I'm down to what's left in there, which is three. But after tonight, I got pissed. I mean, WTH, WTF, you know, I was upset, very upset. I bought the Firmzilla all-rounder. I'm not a big person with addition. I don't like a bunch of holes where things can go wrong. I like, I'm an IT guy. I like to reduce the possibilities of things going wrong. I want short connections to one point A to point B without a bunch of failures in the middle. So the all-rounder seemed perfect for me. I can reach inside, I can clean it. My problem, and this is a huge, huge problem. I'm working with Pierre, Simple Home Brew. If you haven't checked out his channel, definitely check out his channel. Great channel, great person out of Australia. Keeps different hours than me, but you know, we're on the opposite sides of the world. So eh, it is what it is. But I'm sitting here watching this dip tube floating down and floating down. And I know you're thinking, oh, well the liquid's here. No. This ball is two thirds of the way submerged in the liquid. So yeah, I have this huge gap between the top of the liquid and where I'm going to hit yeast. Yeah, you, you were starting, you started to think the same way I am. Okay. That's two inches. So if I'm using the keg lens floating ball, which it says, says it's stainless steel, hard, but it feels a lot like hard plastic. It might be stainless steel. Still feels like plastic. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. That means I'm going to leave two inches of beer behind in this big beast. Well, if I take two inches and I go over here and I line that up, uh, that's about a gallon and a half. Okay. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, I'm only leaving a gallon behind. I'm doing five gallons of beer. I'm not only embarrassed, but I would never use something that leaves 20% of the beer behind. Are you kidding me? So you're going to brew five gallons of wort or maybe a little more. You're going to pitch your yeast. Your yeast is going to make beer and you're going to leave a gallon behind and put four gallons in your five gallon keg. Why would you do that? Who would do that? Who knowingly would do that and do that intentionally? Well, Keglin, I'm sorry. This thing needs to go back to the drawing board. They did come out with a cool little filter. Okay, so now, floating this up here, this is down here, I got two inches. I stick this filter on here. Maybe the filter pushes it up and maybe I only leave three quarters of a gallon of beer behind. Are you crazy? This thing needs to go back to the drawing board. Why would you ever knowingly leave that much beer behind? That's insane. I used one of these in one of my kegs and after it got done, I opened it up and I had this little thin layer of beer on the top of the yeast cake on the bottom. I left maybe a quarter of a pint. This thing's going to leave at least a pint, maybe two behind, which I'm terrified how much the, the one from Torpedo Keg Buoy, who looks just like this, is going to leave behind. That's crazy. 
Nobody in their right mind would buy something and use something like that to get clear beer to leave a pint or two behind. I'm not into wasting beer. If I'm making good beer and I want to enjoy it, I'm going to enjoy it. And the last thing I want to do is throw it away just to throw it away because of a bad design, a very bad design. And your little filter fix is not a good fix. Put it back on the drawing board. This is like version one, version 20. Huge night and day difference and just night and day. Design quality to me, the so much better quality. And it's an opinion, but better quality. Let me put it this way. If you got $40 to throw out the window, buy this, buy this, test them for yourself. And you're gonna go, man, Mike at Bitter Reality Brewing really knew what he was talking about. I can't believe I didn't believe him. This is, I'm debating right now. Do I hang them up as ornaments or do I throw them away? Do I use them for Christmas? You know, hey, look, I got a Christmas ornament. Just bad, just really, really bad design. Such a simple, but such an amazing design. I'm going to leave links below on the bottom for these of anything I'm talking about. You want to buy a Firmzilla, throw me a little pocket change. Great. You want to buy one of these, throw me a little pocket change. I'm sorry, but I'll take the pocket change. This is not going to be an affiliate link. This is just me recommending quality product to everybody who watches my channel. Not an affiliate link. You buy it. I don't get anything. Do me a favor. If you do buy this, let them know Bitter Reality Brewing sent you. Give me some karma, some brownie points, whatever. I'm good with that. The other thing is, is this is called a float it or float it. I'm not sure how you pronounce it with the little thing over the top, but it comes with this little cool thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but what it does is when it's in there, you can reach down and just grab it and pull it up. It's a little easier than sticking your hand in the liquid, which you really don't want to do unless you're going to drench your hand in star sand, but hey. It's a nice goodie. I like it. Keep in mind that same person makes Spunding 2.0. Spunding 2.0 is awesome quality compared to the plastic version from Kegland. But I will give some pros and cons. The Kegland only goes to 15 PSI. I have another one down here. It looks like it's 22, 25 PSI. I can get a 60 PSI, which I did order. And the Spunded 2.0 only goes to 30 PSI. Maybe there's a way I guess I could pull this off and put a 60 PSI on there. I'm doing some testing, so I need the 60 PSI for the spunning valve, which 99% of the people in the world probably don't need it. But it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. Bad design, amazing design. Cost difference, I think these sell for 15 to $20. Sells for like $22 unless you're buying a bunch of them. And then it's even cheaper. But don't waste your time don't waste your money buy the right one the first time whether you're using something like a firmzilla or you're using a keg whatever you're pulling from think about that it's going to be sitting at the very bottom and you're going to get everything but the last few ounces worst case you're going to miss a couple ounces versus a pint or two it's just i'm sorry it's just not worth it so if you're looking at torpedo keg buoy you're looking at kegland ss or stainless steel floating ball don't waste your time or your money. Buy a floated floating dip tube. Save your time, save your money, get the right product the first time. You won't regret it. It's an amazing product, especially if you're trying to pull the clear beer off the top or you're using something like this. I know this comes with the Firmzilla's for free usually. Worth the extra money, just hands down. I was so shocked when I saw that getting there. I was freaking out. I literally stopped. I released the CO2. I took this off. I took it apart and I put this in there. There is no way. I, I considered using a transfer pump. I was so upset with how bad this was going to be. It was that bad. I was very upset. Do me a favor. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. And like I said, if you buy one, throw me some brownie points. Let them know that Bitter Reality Brewing sent you. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you again and have a great, great year.